Professor Prokop is in the English department. A caring, very invested individual. He takes the initiative in his department and in his classes to really go a little bit further. He's not, he's okay with waiting in the awkward silences until someone speaks because he just, he wants you to think for yourself. He's not just going to give you the answers. His process in general is, um, how do I help this person succeed? And how do I help this person actually do well in life? Actually, I grew up in, um, in a house that is only about one mile from the house that I live in today. But I went to Poland for two years in the Peace Corps in the early 1990s. I lived in uh, Washington, D.C. for a time, and I taught English at a private language school in a small town up in the mountains in Japan. Met uh, the love of my life, uh, my wife, um, very soon after uh, returning to Poland. We were married in 1998, um, and then my three boys were all born in Poland. And then uh, we came to the United States in 2006. Professor Prokop is just a really fun professor. He really loves teaching, and he loves his students, and he loves to watch them grow in their knowledge of film and grow in their uh, understanding of current issues and in their depth of reading and uh, reading good literature and writing about it. Professor Prokop has helped me um, step out of my comfort zone and I've learned to take risks from his class. It's kind of a cliche, but all truth is God's truth. And so um, no matter what we're looking at, I think there's always a spiritual way to look at that. In my literature classes, for example, we'll read short stories by self-professed atheists, but there's always God in their work. No matter what they may say, um, God has planted in us a desire to know Him. The first thing that I think I would really like students to, to get um, is a sense of their vocation in this world. And vocation doesn't necessarily mean job. Vocation means calling. What, what is God calling them to do? And then the second thing I would say is for them to be challenged. Only a faith that has been challenged in one way or another is a really strong faith. And I think a, a mind that has been challenged becomes a much stronger mind.